Warning. The message you are about to hear are the views of the Oklahoma Tomcat and isn't supported by the government. Agreeing with this message could cause you to be targeted by the government, government agencies, and advocates. You have been warned. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This here is the Oklahoma Tomcat coming to you from Carlisle, Pennsylvania. How's everyone doing this Memorial Day weekend? Things are going pretty good out here. Uh, not quite as planned. Uh, had problems this month with uh, not getting uh, quite enough prey and my student having different problems that would co come up. Uh, the last problem he's had was the, uh, well, actually both problems with his driver's license. But it taught me something. Uh, from now on, any student gets in my truck, I am checking their driver's license. I'm check the expiration date because uh, that was one of the problems that came up. Uh, but, um, because uh, I didn't quite make the money that uh, I wanted or needed, was I ended up uh, staying out a little longer this month. I was supposed to be home this weekend, but instead of being home, I decided to stay out to try to make up uh, and earn a little bit more money. But I might well have been home because now I'm sitting in Carl, Pennsylvania. But I'm taking uh, the opportunity, you know, being shut down here to arrange paperwork and clean up a little bit, do things that I normally can't do when I have a student and running real hard. But also, another thing I'm thankful for is the fact that even though I didn't make the money that uh, I wanted, I still make more money than I did my previous job, so things are still going on the uh, uh, course. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was this latest uh, issue with uh, Kim Davis. For those of you that haven't been following the news, Kim Davis uh, is a county clerk for uh, Rowan County in Kentucky. She decided not that even though the Supreme Court said all states have to uh, issue marriage licenses to uh, gay couples, she decided that she is not going to because of her uh, Christian faith. Now, I had to split the story up a little bit because of the fact that on one half, I agree with what she did, but on the other half, I have a problem, and I disagree with the way she went about uh, what she did. She is correct that in the Christian faith, homosexuality is wrong, along with lots of other sexual sins. Um, homosexuality is not one that we can just single out. There are lots of sexual sins that people are performing uh, that goes totally against the Christian faith. And unfortunately, some of these are being done by Christians. <laughs> so, you know, as, as Christians, we really need to stop the singling out homosexuality. I know it's a, a uh, hot topic because the uh, liberals are pushing it on us and even forcing Christians to condone their actions. But 
we do have to make it clear that homosexuality is not the only uh, sexual activity that's a sin. But in this case, she is 100% correct that um, homosexuality is wrong. She is also correct in that Christians are not to condone, to participate, or to, oh, what's the other word I was thinking of? We're not supposed to have any part of it, of a homosexual marriage. <laughs> we, we cannot be part of it. We cannot condone it. We cannot uh, participate in it. She's, so she's correct, correct about that in that she is not supposed to issue licenses to homosexuals. Okay. Now, because she took the stand, she had to go to court because she still wasn't uh, following the law. The judge told her she has to issue these licenses, and she refused to. So she went back to court and was found guilty of contempt of court. And therefore, put in jail, which shocked a lot of people because a lot of people thought she would just get a fine, um, and she would continue ha uh, that fine would build as long as she refused to uh, issue marriage license. Now, she also refused to allow her deputies to issue the licenses, which she could have done. However, what she was against was that her name would be on those licenses. And again, I don't blame her for that because I wouldn't want my name on it either, okay? Because then I am making that marriage legal. Um, now, what she she says she's going to stay in jail, but what she's seeking is not to change the law. What she's seeking is for them to make it so that her name doesn't have to be on those licenses, and I. That's where I have a problem. I do not understand why they can't do that. Um, there are many uh, exceptions that are made uh, for people who uh, have a conflict in their uh, conscience. From, or, I mean... You can even get out of the military if all of a sudden, you know, you, you, because of a change in your religion, now you um, find that you can't fight no more. You know, they, they, you're not supposed to be in the military. And they'll allow you out of the military. You know, uh, not dishonorable discharge. <laughs> so... You know, why they can't do that, I don't understand. But, in either case, where I have a problem with uh, uh, Kim Davis is the fact that she is employed by the state or the county and she's refusing to obey her employer. Throughout the Bible, it talks about the fact that we are to uh, obey our employer. In fact, it even goes as far as slaves obey your masters. Okay. Now, luckily, we are not slaves today, and we don't, you know, we're not bound to be uh, working for our employers. And this goes for whether you're employed by a private company or by the government. It doesn't matter. If you choose, and there's a key word, you chose 
to work for that employer, you must obey that employer and do what they say. Doesn't matter what you personally think. It doesn't matter what your beliefs are. You must obey that employer. If you if the employer tells you to do something that goes against God, then you must make a choice. Are you going to stay with the employer and go against God? Or are you going to quit working for the employer and follow God? The latter is the one I recommend to all Christians. Okay. And I've been asked this question by other Christians, you know, their employer is telling them to do something that goes against their uh, Christian faith, what should they do? And I said, you have to make one of two choices. Obey the employer or quit your job. And I, I, I personally can't make that choice for them. I can't recommend which one to do. But they have to make that choice. And the reason I couldn't make that recommendation to, you know, which one to go with is because uh, it's their belief and not mine. But <clears throat> this is what where Kim Davis is making me a huge, huge, huge mistake. She's following one part of the Bible, but she's not following the other part. And what I recommend to Kim Davis is step down, quit. And then once you're stepped down and you quit, then you could start an organization to uh, have the laws changed, which is another thing I recommend. And I even go further than what she says, because I mean she isn't trying to change the law; she's just trying to get it so the uh, clerk, uh, if a Clerk, county clerk is a Christian, they do not have to sign that um, marriage license. Now, I'll, I'll go into what I recommend uh, after I'm done talking about uh, her specific case here. Which, those of you following me on my blogs and Facebook and Twitter, you already know what I'm going to, uh, what I suggest. But this goes out to everyone. Whether you are a government employee or work for a private company, if your employer tells you to do something that goes against your Christian faith or any faith, I mean, whatever your belief is, it's not only Christians, whatever your belief is, even atheists, whatever you believe, Whatever your morals are, whatever, you're, whatever you stand on, everybody should stand on something. Something that says, I will not cross this line. I will not budge from this. Then you quit. You leave. And if it's if the employer's real hard for where you know you <laughs> the two weeks notice ain't gonna work, then don't even give them a two weeks notice. Just say, hey, listen, this is your company, or if it's the government, this is government law rules for its employer employees. I respect how you feel, but. I cannot go along with this. I step down right now. And that's what I would do. And then I, and then I would work to change those laws. I would uh, petition the uh, government or whatever. Now, there is a solution to all these problems on homosexual marriage and in the future on uh, polygamy there is one simple solution to where everyone has the right 
to marry whoever they want, be with whoever they want, and yet not infringe on other people's religious beliefs, religious or moral beliefs. One simple solution, and I don't know why uh, it's not a big topic right now. Well, I have my suspicions, but I'm not going to get in on this blog. And that is, get government out of marriage. Government has no purpose in marriage. There is no reason for merit, for government to issue a license. Uh, government is not God's, and government is not our parents. We do not need to go to the government and say, may I please marry so-and-so. This is ridiculous that there is even a marriage license. It is crazy. It is unnecessary. There is no reason for it. We need to do away with marriage license totally. Government doesn't need to know who we are marrying. Government doesn't need to know if we're married. Government doesn't need to know uh, why we're married. Government doesn't need to know any of that stuff. We need to get government out of marriage. And I've posted the question on Facebook many times. No one is able to tell me why government is involved in marriage. Why it needs to continue to be involved in marriage. Why do we need to ask permission from government to get married? It's such a simple solution that would, I mean, yeah, granted, uh, states, <coughs> states would lose a little bit of money because they can't charge you to be married. Also, <laughs> government would save a lot of money, too, because then there would be no marriage credit, huh? Let's get government out of marriage. That would solve all those problems. No marriage license, no infringing on other people's uh, religious beliefs. This doesn't need to be a fight, people. What it needs to be is for everyone to cooperate and say, I'm an adult. I can marry whoever I want. And I don't need to ask government for, my, for their permission, nor do I need to report it. I mean, if, if it's about the certificate, have whoever you marry print up a certificate for you if you want a certificate on the wall. It, it's, it's a stupid, stupid, stupid um, fight. It really is. And... I don't know what the issue is over. It's beyond my comprehension of why people would fight over something like this. Why Why would you prevent other people from doing whatever they want? I mean, if two people are together in their house and want to be together, and it ain't hurting me. To tell you the truth, there's a huge number of people who are married that I do not agree with on why they married or that they should be married. In my opinion, they shouldn't have a marriage license either, which brings up another thing. I mean, why would a Christian issue out marriage license uh, at a county clerk's office? Just because government says you're married doesn't mean you're married in the sight of God. I mean, that's, that's my opinion. There are a lot of people married who shouldn't be married, and they end up divorcing shortly after because of it. So, I mean, uh, as far as Christian values go, I mean, I don't think any Christian should work at a county clerk's office issuing out marriage license at all. Because... You do not know if those people should be married. And you may be issuing out marriage license, granting them permission 
uh, and God saying, no, you shouldn't be married. Right? This is the Oklahoma Comcast. Take care. God bless. This is the most transparent administration in history. Not even a smidgen of corruption. The fact is, we had four dead Americans. What difference at this point does it make? If you got a business, you didn't build that.